What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in Atlanta. I'm in the air with chart topping rapper Gunner. How so, you doing? Good. Gonna do some sneaker shopping tonight. Gonna see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's gonna buy some sneakers. Of course, I'm gonna buy some sneakers. Let's go. Gunnar, I love that we're shooting right now because you're fresh off Paris Fashion Week. Saw you with Nigo, Pharrell, Kanye. What was it like to be out there? I know you've been to Fashion Week before, but this seemed a little different. You were super in the mix. Right, I was in the right spot at the right time. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was cool, it was a vibe. Me and Kanye linked up. We brought a lot of players linked up, a lot of peas linked up, it was vibing. It's ceremonious because in 2021, you had your own bait, the slats, the black with the green. Right. I know you came up on it, but to like chill with Nigo and be front row at Kenzo, what was that like? It's everything I wanted, it's, 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 it's unraveling. You know what I'm saying? I'm linking with real icons and we and we putting it together. I, you know, they actually dressed me for that look like. Yeah. Not dress me, but they just let me come to the back and let me pick out like mm -hmm. everything exclusive from the drop. So it was everything I wanted to do. And one thing I love about you is you're always like, I cherish this moment. What was it like getting your own vapes though? Lit. And like- They went crazy, they sold out four minutes. Four minutes, and like, did your boy, so, who helped with you? Uh, so say, yeah. So say, yeah. right? He came with the crazy leather name. And that was like, just like an introduction of what's more to come, cause I'm, I'm doing a lot of collabs right now, like, yeah. that's coming crazy. And I heard there may be like a purple label bait thing on the way? You know. Okay, I heard like through the grapevine. Yeah, so you, you plug it in, you talk to the right people. Okay, okay. <laughs> and then the sample though, there was even a sample with even more drip on the shoe, right? That th right. It wasn't the final version? It wasn't the final, but it's, it's still gonna release. Okay. Yeah. Another thing, I know that every Saturday growing up, you were outside for the releases at Foot Locker. Was it Lenox Mall or Greenbrier Mall? Greenbrier. Okay. Like, my dude, my man Joe, he used to like, really like try to get me in the front and then when he, when he really peaked, I was pushing P. Yeah. Like, he started just like, man, just call me when you, when you get up there. I, I ain't have to wait no more, but I, I used to wait. For and, sure. And I like that because you did wait a lot and then you said Joe was the manager who you connected with right. and then it was like, listen, you paid your dues and now you could skip the line right. a little bit. I worked my way up to that though. Yeah. He had to see me waiting them lines and really like, I, right, nah, he ain't finna leave. Like, he gonna thug it out. Okay. Yeah. And then, what, do you remember any specific releases back then that you really, you know, it was the Jordan era. So do you remember anyone that's on those Saturdays that you were really like psyched to get? They was uh, black, orange, and blue them Fours. Fours, okay. Yes, fours. fours. Trim. Okay. I had to get them. Yeah. I had to get them. Jordan top shoes, socks. I was all the way Jordan out, burnt out, but that was it. That was a hit back then. Yeah. A hit for sure. One thing that I noticed, no matter what brands, no matter what you're wearing, outfits, a lot of times they're capped off by Air Force Ones. Your favorite everyday shoe? Yes. Do you think it's the best shoe ever made? Yes. They go with them that everything. Mm -hmm. So it's like, they get, they might go tools. And then like, even when I'm performing, yeah. I might not want to wear the Dior's on stage mm -hmm. to this show, cause I'm really finna just go crazy. So I'm gonna go Air Force Ones. Okay. You feel me? Yeah. They so, might go tools. The first time we did this, you bought the V-Lone Air Force Ones. One of your favorites still, the black and orange. Right, I'm still having them. Yeah. Those will never be made again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, those, those was a time in life that everybody wanted to have a pair. I got a pair. Mm -hmm. I still got them, so I cherish them. They, they, they definitely are some ones to have. Talked about Kanye in Paris, but a shoe that you got, I think, two years ago, the Yeezy one, the Nike. Right. What? Still having them. them. Them is like collector's items to me. Yeah. Like, I'm not gonna actually sell the shoe, but I'm still gonna hold this shoe as a collector's item because like the value of it goes up. Definitely. Just from having them so long and they vintage now. Yeah. When they come like five years and up, they, they go vintage. Another thing is that you always said, even though you couldn't get the shoes, you always were aware of the release dates. Was that one of the shoes that like- Most definitely. What was it like to, to like see those when those dropped? I was like, damn, I wanted them. It was um, it was around the time like good music. Yes. That's when Kanye had the good music going on, and like everybody he signed had the shoe. I'm like, I wasn't signed for the shoe, but I want the shoe. You know? Yep. Yeah. It's an era. Yeah, it was an era. We have to talk the biggest internet trend right now: pushing P. 
Push your feet. Companies are using it, but did you see the Nike store tweet? Did you see it? Of they course, everyone feet. saw it. Everyone they, saw this it. This Nike, man. Don't play with them. Uh, Everybody in the world seen this. Exactly. Like, push your feet. I think IHOP did it. What did Walmart do it? Who who did it? IHOP. Okay. They IHOP. Push your feet. IHOP Walmart did it. Might have been push your feet too, though. Don't, okay. Don't you know what I mean? I, I just got to look on the internet. They might be push your feet today. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but the Nike store. That yes. has to guarantee that, like, you and the crew hit on the Nike sneakers app yeah, now, right? Yeah, we talked. Okay. We pushed your feet. Okay. Right. So you, you saw that and everyone reacted to it. Shout out Nike for pushing P. For, for sure, for sure. Gunna, one relationship I want to talk about, you and Virgil were, were close. I even saw like his comment thing when you would have the LV fits, like all-star first team. You went to Fashion Week with him. And even on this show two years ago is when like he got appointed at Louis Vuitton and you're like, I'm proud of him. What's it like? I see you still have all the LV trainers and like the UNC off-white ones. Talk about like his approach to design and, and, and like the impact he had. Man, Virgil the GOAT, man. Yeah. God bless the dead. He inspired me, bro. Yeah. He inspired me even more. Like, I always loved clothes, but like, when I first like heard of Virgil, and then I just started just like following him and just seeing all his creations and him leaving mm -hmm. Off-White and still owning a piece of it mm -hmm. and still branching off and going to Louis Vuitton and turning Louis Vuitton up. Yeah. And it's like, it was just our inspiration to me. It just helped me like dress better. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It may help me like, step out and be like, oh, no, nah, you can go crazier. Yeah. Like, you was going crazy, but you can go crazier. Yeah. So shout out to Virgil for just, like, inspiring all us younger youthful and just knowing, like, you can always keep going. Like, he, he didn't never put no cap on it. Like, you can still keep going. And he was, like, super supportive of your movement, I'm sure. Right, for sure. Yeah. Like, yeah. especially, like, when I first jumped out of the game, sold out dates, like, he was the one, like, when I said, my jacket off white don't mean that it's beige. Like, he took that and really Heard like, it. bro, I take heat into this one. Like, this is a real bar. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm glad that, like, you have all those shoes. Like, you, we talked about collector's items. Like, they ain't you, going nowhere. Yeah, you still all wear All the Virgil trainers, I remember all of it. Even, like, the, his last drops with Louis. That the they LB still trainers have you have. You have the brown and the pink and things like that. Right. Yeah. Live on forever. For sure. We have to end, like, we talked about you, the manager, Joe at Foot Locker. You were waiting in line. You got a foot, you were like the face of a Foot Locker campaign. You had the Pumas with the gunner on them. We talked about the base. Right. This was two years ago that we shot this show. None of that existed. I see a lot of your interviews, everyone says the same thing. It's happening so fast. But talk about like from a style perspective, how it's happened. Puma, Bape, Foot Locker. It's just, it's just, I'm just growing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's how I could look at it from, if I was on the outside looking in like, uh, he just growing, he's spreading, he's spreading his wings. Now I want to get with Puma and Nike again, and mm -hmm. now I just want to like bring my creations and my ideas to them, and just like let the world see it, just leveling up in every. It's still doing the same, but I just want to do it like on a different level now. Yeah. Well, we talked about everything. Now is the easy part: browse the shelves, see what you're gonna take home. Let's go. Let's do it. What can I do for you? I want to shop, look around, get All some right, shit. Sure. And we also pull some stuff for you as well. Okay, right. let's do it. Let's do it. Definitely want these. You got new elite shit? Oh, I see it right here. All right. Try this night, large SF. Um, okay. Now, nah, let me get the threes. Three? Yeah. Okay. See if you got my size on this right here. What a P. Try this one, put that on. <laughs> right. I'm gonna definitely want these. I thought I bought these already. It's nothing wrong with having two pair. Right. <laughs> P. Me, all 12s, like every. All 12s? Every 12 you got. Got you. Everything all right? Yeah, we're chilling. <laughs> I'm pushing P, man. A lot of this shit I done bought. Yeah. <laughs> That's 
Okay, Gunga, with the full fit you have on today, these that you're finally picking up from us, and these we pulled specifically for you from the warehouse, your total today is $9,643.10. in the back, okay? I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Gracias. Right. See you next time. So, Gunna came through, did major damage, changed his outfit. Thanks so much for taking the time. Congrats on the album, DS Forever, number one album. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. We gotta get these bags.